the uh, Labour launch of the national campaign ahead, of course, of the May elections. Uh, so we understand, Keir Starmer, the way this works, everyone knows, is we get fed certain lines that your leader is about to say, and he will say, apparently, today, a vote for Labour is a vote to support our NHS. How would that manifest itself in terms of what Labour are saying? Well, Keir Starmer has spoken openly about his mum was an NHS nurse, his sister was, and his wife works in the NHS, and he speaks with passion. that The government had announced that they planned and legislated for 2.1% pay rise for nurses and NHS staff, and they've tore that up and ripped up that promise. It's a broken promise. And what we're saying is a clear choice for these elections is that Labour wouldn't do that. Labour would give our nurses and our NHS staff the pay rise that they deserve. They've been on the front line protecting us over this period and they deserve better than what the current government is offering them, broken promises. You, you use the word clear choice, so give us the clear choice. Uh, the Conservative Party, the government saying 1%, what do you say? Well, we say that the government should at, le at least give the 2.1% that they promised. They legislated for that. That's the least that they can do for the NHS and staff that have worked so diligently over the last 12 months. People can send a very clear message to the Conservatives in May, and that's that they want to support the NHS staff that have supported them throughout this pandemic, and they deserve the pay rise. So you're pinning your, your colours so closely in terms of your campaign to supporting an NHS. Why then would you reject someone like the Royal College of Nursing who is saying it should be 12, 12.5%? Why would you reject what they're saying? Well, it's not a matter of rejecting well, you it. Are. What you're, you're saying you wouldn't give them that. The government have already budgeted for 2.1%. They've tore that up and have said you can have 1% now, which is a real terms No, we know up. what they've said. We I'm, I'm just trying to clarify why, why you are... You, you're saying you are the party that's behind the NHS. And we know what the government said. They've said 1%. And you know the Royal College of Nursing has said 12%. So why wouldn't you, as the Labour Party, support the Royal College of Nursing's demands for 12%? Well, there's a pay review body and a number of uh, trade I'm unions... I'm asking what you in, think. ..and a number of trade unions that are involved in that. And I think that that negotiation should start. If and I the may, government Angela broken Rainer, their promise if, if and I may, they should at I'm, least give 2.1%. Okay, OK, so you're, you're using the word at least. If I look yeah. back to the Labour Party manifesto of 2019, at that point, and this is prior to the pandemic, of course, when everyone's even more grateful and full of praise for what the NHS has done, the Labour Party manifesto 2019, you were saying they should get 5%. So, uh, well, I mean, have you come down from that marker? And if you could say a number then, why can't you say a number now? Well, you know, we're talking about our election launch for May now, and, you know, what we've got to remind ourselves, in that manifesto in 2019, the general public completely rejected it. You know, it was one of our worst election defeats. So what me and Keir have done when we took over the leadership of the Labour Party is listen to voters. And if you listen to voters now, 12 months on from the start of this pandemic, they would say that the government should at least honour it's promised to our NHS workers. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm so trying not hard. to talk. I'm trying very deliberately I'm not to talk on. about that's the government. I'm, I'm today trying is to. That our NHS staff deserve a pay rise. You're a nurse. What would you like to say? Hi, good afternoon, Jeremy. Good afternoon, Kia. Hi, Paul. So I've, I've been a nurse for 40 years and I've never experienced anything like this. So a proposed 1% pay rise for NHS staff, and it's not just about nurses. Many, many people hold the NHS together. But a 1% pay rise just about buys us a value meal deal a week from a well-known supermarket. Um, mm. Everything is going up around us. Prices are going up around us. So my question to you is, does this match your last pay rise as an MP? And if not, why not? Well, it, it, it doesn't, and it's wrong. Um, and that's why we've made as much noise about it, Paul, as we possibly can. And I think, you know, although it's a small example, it's a very telling example, the, gov the government, the Prime Minister, gave Dominic Cummings a massive pay um, rise last year, £40,000. Um, and now, Paul, I think I'm right in saying that the proposed rise to nurses and those on the front line equates to something like £3.50 a week. Well, that's, that's his, that's his meal deal that he's saying, yeah. Yeah, but it's so insulting. It's so insulting, um, Paul. And I, you know, 
Um, particularly after the last um, 12 months. I mean, you will know better than anybody what it's been like to be on the um, front line. Um, you know, as I say, I, I know a bit because my wife works in the NHS and therefore I, I get the daily um, story about what's it like in her hospital and the, and the, and the you know, the sheer hard work and the anxiety that I think many staff in the NHS have, have felt that, you know, are we going to be able to manage? I, I remember going into the hospital where my wife works just before Christmas and a number of the consultants sort of took me to one side to, to tell me how worried they were would you, as to whether they, they, um, wait, they could get through the next period. OK, but would you cancel the 13% to HMRC, for example? Um, I, I think we need to look at that across the board and um, I was out there a long time ago about MPs' increases and saying uh, there should be a, another way of looking at this so we don't get the increase that's proposed this year. I think that there's just an, in, there's an injustice here that needs to be addressed. There is, of course, there is going to be um, a pay review body looking at the nurses. And what happens if that says 1% is right? Well, we'll have to see what it says. But given you wait that, for it? Well, we'll wait and see what it says. But 1% is, in effect, a cut in once you in, put inflation into the into the pot um, and I, I, I would imagine that that independent body would uh, look at what the government the government voted through with great sort of you know fanfare that they this was that about a year ago January 2020 I think it was the government every Tory MP every Conservative MP voted through the NHS budget you know just to show their commitment and that um, budget included 2.1% for this year for NHS staff that is what's being taken uh, away, and I would hope the independent body would start with what the government actually promised and budgeted for. The, the Royal the College NHS. of Nursing has set up a £35 million strike fund. Would you support a strike by nurses? I don't think nurses want to go on strike. Certainly none of them that I've been talking they did? to, and there's a lot of stuff. I don't want to see um, strikes. I think strikes, whilst we're still dealing with COVID and we've then got the backlog coming down the line, but they've been put in this position by the government's um, action. But nobody wants a strike. The nurses and others don't want a strike. And in a sense, the ball's in the government's court to make sure that that absolutely doesn't happen.